Assalamu alaikum friends. I hope you all are well and enjoying learning with language and linguistics. Today we are going to talk about morphology and the topic is an introduction to morphology. But before starting the lecture, I would like to request all of you, please like, share and subscribe language and linguistics for getting the notification of all new videos and lecture about language and linguistics. You can also find the PDF file of this lecture and the link is in description section. So let's move to our first slide. In this lecture, we'll talk about morphology and types of morphology. But first, we will go through the definition of morpheme and morphology so that we can easily understand this lecture. Morpheme is a Greek term and it's derived from the word morph, which means form and shape. So morpheme is the smallest grammatical unit of meaning like going. In this word going, we have morpheme that is ing. Or you can say the smallest part of a word is morpheme. Morphology is the area of grammar that is concerned with the structures of words, with the relationship between words involving the morpheme that compose them is technically known as morphology. Morpheme is just the minimal unit of morphology. Morphology deals with the composition and internal structures of words. The way that structure determines the word meaning rather than the way they combine to make larger units like phrases and clauses. So morphology is just about the structure of words and about their composition. In contrast, the composition of phrases and clauses is the part of syntax. Two types of morphology are inflectional and lexical. In this lecture, we will go through these two types, but first we will talk about the difference between these two terms, lexical and inflectional morphology. Lexical versus inflectional morphology. Inflectional morphology deals with the difference between the shapes of the inflectional forms of variable lexeme. For example, the formation of the verb forms endangered, endangered, and endangering from the lexical base endanger. So all form of endanger are the inflectional form and that is the area of inflectional morphology. In contrast, lexical morphology deals with the formation of lexical bases with the formation of in danger. For example, from n and danger, we have a word that is in danger. This includes the formation of lexical bases of invariable lexeme such as cleverly. We cannot get the inflectional form of the word cleverly like cleverer or cleverest. But the fact that it is made out of clever and lee is the area of lexical morphology. Flexional morphology ties in mainly with syntax. In contrast, lexical morphology is mainly relevant to the content of the dictionary word. Similarly, inflectional forms matters for rules of syntax. However, Lexical morphology relates only to the structure of words in the dictionary and the formation of new words added to it. Third difference is inflectional morphology is horizontal relationship. In contrast, lexical morphology is vertical relationship. Let's have a look on example. Lexeme, friend, that is known. And we have inflectional form with the basic lexeme that is friend, friends and friends. Again, we have a word friendly that is adjective. An inflectional form of friendly is friendlier and friendliest. After going through the difference between lexical and inflectional morphology, we are going to deal with the basic concepts in inflectional morphology in this lecture. Lexical base. In lexical base, different words are formed by adding suffix and prefix with the lexeme, the plural and genitive forms of the noun, the comparative and superlative forms of adjective, 
consist of the lexical base with the addition of various suffixes. For example, kind, kindness, kindly and unkind. We have all these forms from the basic lexeme that is kind. So, lexeme refers to a single word and all of its forms. Lexeme is a word with specific sound and specific meanings. Its shape may vary depending on syntactic context. For example, dog and dogs. Distinct grammatical word forms of the same lexeme dog. We have dog and dogs from the word or you can say the lexeme that is dog. This is the area of inflectional morphology. Next significant concepts to understand the inflectional morphology is morphological operation. Inflectional forms of a lexeme are formed by different operations on lexical basis. First rule is the operation of suffixation of S that is added to the end of the base. Second, suffixation is the main operation in the inflectional system and the modification of the base also plays an important role in morphological operation. For example, dog plus s is equal to dogs. Here, s is added as sophistication. Again, we have want plus add that is wanted. And in modification operation, goose modified into geese and take modified into took. Two operations are combined in wife by adding suffix wives, changing the final consonant of the base form for into wo. Let's have a look on important points of this lecture. Morpheme is a Greek term which means shape and form. Morpheme is smallest grammatical unit of meaning and part of morphology. Morphology concerns with the structure and relationship of morphemes and words. Lexical and inflectional morphologies are two types. Inflectional morphology deals with the shape of inflectional forms of morpheme. In contrast, Lexical morphology deals with the formation of lexical base like N and danger. Lexical base and morphological operation are basic concepts in inflectional morphology. In lexical base, different words are formed by adding suffix and prefix with lexeme. Thank you for watching. Please like, share and subscribe language and linguistics.